guys, welcome back to Hooked and Rolling Offshore. I'm Captain John and today I'm going to show you how you index your spark plug to your injector. So here we go. Let me take it out real quick to show you. Okay, the first thing you got to do is you got to, I don't know if you can see it, the electrode here in your center electrode there's an air gap. You have to mark the air gap, which is this black line I put here. See how it's in line with the uh, gap? The black line. So, that has to be, to be within specs. Let me see if I can get it started. See the black line here? They want it facing the injector. It could be like over here or over here and still qualify but they really want it to be like right here to be ultimate for your ultimate fire economy and the EPA stuff they really want it right there um, if you can't get it to index there when you tighten it up let me show you let me tighten it up real quick first tighten is up to uh, 15 foot pounds On your first initial torque is 15 foot pounds to see if you can get it to index. Okay, that's tight. Now let me tighten it a little bit more. Okay, mine indexed at 15 foot-pounds. It's right here on the edge. I don't think you can see it, but it's right here. Any further, I really wouldn't be able to use it. But if you're like me and you're not a dealer, you'd have to take it and try it on another cylinder, see if you can index it. If not, technically you couldn't use it, but I would still use it. It's $11. That's the cheapest I found it online. I think it's a QC8 WEP champion for uh, the 308 E-Tex. And uh, then you just put your boot back on and make sure you hear it clip. And uh, you're all set. You can go to your next one. So I hope you learned something, especially my E-Tech owners, fellow owners. And... Um, if you want to change your plugs, that's how you're supposed to do it. Do that yourself. Get the plugs off eBay. And uh, save yourself. Save yourself a couple dollars. Alright, until next time, keep your lines tight and your coolers full. We'll see you.